everyone. Uh, I hope you had a nice weekend. Sadly, Ms. Lewis will be leaving us at the end of this week, so you're stuck with me. I will really miss Ms. Lewis and all she's done for you guys. So wish her luck in her job search and her future wedding that had to get postponed because of the quarantine. Um, we will be starting our new unit this week. Yay! So no more importance of being earnest. That's done. We're going to try to do something new. Um, now, this may seem daunting at first when you see all the stuff, but it's just because I'm prepping you for more stuff, so don't freak out. Um, it's just new material, and it's difficult because it's not we're not in a classroom. Um, but don't worry. We'll do this together, and it will make sense. So we'll be reading The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. Um, these tales are very famous and were the basis for modern literature and storytelling all over the world. Along with the reading, we'll be performing The Moth, um, which is a 10-minute true story told without notes about you or your family. I'm sure many of you have heard about this from previous years. It's my favorite unit because we learn so much about each other, and we'll get more into that later on. Um, for this week, there are three things that you need to do. First, uh, watch Ms. Upstrom going over the notes, joy of joys, and take down the key points from the video. You'll watch this in, um, the, you'll find this in the Canterbury Tales slash moth module in Canvas and on the notes slash presentation page. Second thing, you'll need to watch the moth overview video to understand the storytelling project that we'll be working on. You'll find this in the Canterbury Tales slash moth module on the project slash directions, oh, project directions page. Third, you're going to be completing and posting either the prologue portion that you'll be assigned or the medieval research portion that you've been assigned. So I'm going to uh, put those assignments, like who does what, um, at the bottom of this announcement and you'll see what you're supposed to do. You'll only be doing that portion. So if you're assigned medieval research medicine, then you only go to the medieval research page and look at the directions for that portion. In the end, we all will be sharing each other's stuff, um, so you'll get the notes for all of the different parts, but you're only responsible for a small portion, okay? So, for those assigned to the prologue portion, before the Canterbury Tales, like the individual tales, there is what's called a prologue. A prologue tells the reader important information about the story's setting, characters, and the premise. It's very long, so instead of all of you reading it and translating it, it's in poetic language and Old English, um, kind of modernized. Some of you are just assigned a portion of it. You will find the directions and prologue document in the discussion page marked Canterbury Tales Prologue. When you click on the document in the discussion, you'll see the sections are labeled Group 1, Group 2, and so on. Normally we would have done this with partners, not possible now. So you should explain when you see what um, group, what part you have. So like, let's say it says like Lizzie 7. So you go to group 7 and then you just read your portion. <clears throat> While you're, what you should be looking for in your portion, you should explain which characters are in your section. Um, make sure to look up unknown words that really change the meaning of certain things. Um, you should mark down interesting details about them, such as what they wear. Clothing was really important during this time. It totally told lots of stuff about your status. What their job was. If you don't know what like a Franklin is, then you should probably look that up and make sure that you're looking up Old English definitions because, as we know, words change over time. What Franklin means now might not mean what it meant in, you know, 1300s. So make sure to look up Old English ones. And uh, looking up the meaning of any saints or foreign words that show us something about the character. For example, they might wear a St. Christopher necklace. I would expect you to then look up what he's the patron saint of. In Catholicism, 
which everybody was then, they would have patron saints and so that look out for them. And so you would look that up to see how that impacts your character. Uh, I gave you, I've given you a sample of one that I've done myself. Um, you'll be posting yours after you translate it and research it and stuff um, so that others can take note. Do something similar to the one, the sample that I have. So I have the passage. You don't have to pay, post the passage in your discussion that you translate. You could just have to post a little bit at the end where I have like bullet points of stuff about the section. Okay? Okay, for those of you who are assigned the medieval research portion, it's important to know some key elements of the Middle Ages that influence the events of the stories we will read. Therefore, some of you have been assigned a topic from the period to research. You'll find directions for that on the Canterbury Tales slash Moth module on the medieval presentation page. I have given you websites that are helpful and easy to navigate materials. You will create a Google Doc presentation that you'll record your voice over. You can use any method you wish. I don't know what you might be familiar with, um, but as long as you share a link with me that I can then post to the other students with the audio. One of the good ones that I've been using is Screencast, but I've also used QuickTime, um, and you can upload it onto YouTube and then send me the link. If you have questions, please let me know. Make sure to publish, if you put it on YouTube, publish to the public so that anyone can view it with the link. If you have trouble, let me know. So you'll be sharing the link with just me, and then I will post it on the Medieval Presentation page for others to watch and take notes. So, after you've done whatever portion you've been assigned, you will need everyone will need to then view everyone else's materials to be prepared for a quiz next week. So you should go on to the, once you're done and the week is over, go and look at the medieval page, uh, medieval research page, and take notes over all the presentations. Um, look over the prologue discussion board and take notes on each section. Okay, You'll be able to use your notes on the quiz, so make sure that you go through everyone's materials to get all the details. All right, guys, I know that's a lot, but you watch two videos and you do some research. Not hard. You can do it. I miss you so much. Um, you'll see what you're assigned in the announcement that I will be posting below this video. Um, my office hours are going to be a little different than Ms. Lewis's just because I have Dean and he has school and we have to, like, navigate everything. So um, I have two different times for my office hours. They will be from 9 to 10 every day and from 4 to 4.30 every day. I know that's after the normal school day, but those are the only times that I could definitely block out every time. Um, but I am available on email all day long. I'll, I always have it up and checking. If you want to conference with me or check in, we can do um, a video hangout, a Google hangout if you want to. You just need to let me know so I can invite you to one. I miss you guys so much. I miss school. But we will get through this, and I can't wait to hear from you and maybe even hear your voices. How exciting. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Be safe. Miss you.